Yo guys, it is Chrono Fairy. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today I'm bringing you guys a quick tutorial on how to install World Edit for Minecraft version 1.16 or 1.16.1. World Edit has just been updated for the latest version of Minecraft. I think we are all very excited, right? Because it helps us a lot with building. So I'll show you guys how to install World Edit. The first thing that you need, right, is you need the Fabric Mod Loader and Fabric API in order to install the mod because this mod has not been updated for Forge yet. So you can only install it for the latest version of Minecraft using Fabric. So I've already done a video on how to install Fabric, but I'll show it to you guys here anyway on how to install Fabric and Fabric API. So again, the link to everything that I'm showing in this video is down in the description below. So first thing you want to do is you want to install Fabric Mod Loader and API, otherwise the World Edit mod will not work. So you want to navigate over to this page here. Link is in the description. You want to download the installer if you're on Windows. If you are on Mac, then you want to download the universal jar file. So if you're on Windows, you just want to run the exe file. And you have this installer page here. If you are on Mac, you want to download the jar file, which I have over here. And if you double click the jar file and it opens using like WinRAR or something like that, right? Just make sure that's not actually what you want. So just make sure you right click open with Java. So make sure you have Java installed, of course. And then the Java file is pretty much the same as the exe file here. So once you have the Fabric installer launched, you just want to cl uh, click install here and it's done. So just keep in mind that it's not over yet. You, you have installed the Fabric mod loader, but you need to install the Fabric API. So the Fabric API, again, link is in the description. Uh, it will take you to this page. You just want to click download and you want to click this and it'll download it instantly. You want to keep the jar file. Now what you want to do first is you want to run your Minecraft once. So just open your Minecraft launcher. You will need to run it once for it to generate a mods folder and that's where you'll drag the jar file in. So make sure you have the fabric loader profile selected like I do over here and you want to click play. So now that you have launched your Minecraft, you should see at the bottom left hand corner it says Minecraft 1.16.1 fabric modded. This means you have successfully installed fabric mod loader correctly and you are now ready to install the fabric API before you can go ahead and install World Edit. So you have to install the fabric API first and how you go about doing that is firstly you want to close your game. So the next step would be to download fabric API as I said earlier. So you want to come over to this page. Again, link is in the description. You want to click download and you just want to click here to start it instantly and you want to keep the jar file. So once you have downloaded the jar file, what you want to do next is you want to navigate to your .minecraft folder. This can be done by opening your Windows Explorer, typing in percent app data percent, hit enter, click your .minecraft. There'll be a mods folder now. Double click on it, drag in your Fabric API jar file. And there you have it. You have Fabric Mod Loader and Fabric API successfully installed. But again, you are not done yet. You still have to install a mod menu before you can go ahead and install World Edit. Now, I know it's a bit complicated, but mod menu is optional, but I really highly recommend it because it comes out with a list of mods that you have installed. So in the future, if you install World Edit or any other fabric mods, any other mods that uses the fabric mod loader, you can see what mods you have installed. So it's really helpful that way. So again, mod menu is optional, but I highly recommend it so that you can see whether you have installed uh, any mods correctly. So you just want to click download for this. Again, the same process as fabric API. Download, keep the jar file, drag the jar file into your mods folder, and there you go. Now you can go ahead and install World Edit, which is actually the exact same process. But keep in mind here, guys, do not click download here. You want to click on files on World Edit. So you can see that when I click files, the top version here is for Minecraft version 1.12, which is not what you want. You want the Minecraft version 1.16.1 because that is the newest version. You can see that it's over here. So you want to, what you want to do is you want to click this download icon here and you want to click this to start the download automatically. Keep the jar file, drag it into your mods folder and there you go guys. You have successfully installed World Edit and now what you want to do is you want to launch Minecraft to actually check whether you have installed everything correctly. So once you have launched Minecraft, you'll notice a brand new button here, the mods button, which you can click. This is thanks to the mod menu uh, mod that you have installed and you can see that you have installed World Edit as well. So if World Edit appears like so, that means you have installed World Edit correctly and it should work for your single player world. Now I'm going to hop into my single player world and we are actually going to test it out. So you can see that I'm on the super flat world here. If I slash slash wand, I left click and I right click slash slash set glass. You can see that all the commands are working, right? Slash slash walls, stone, there we go. Uh, we can do slash up three. 
right? You can see that all the world edit commands are working. So now you can actually use this very handy building tool known as world edit. I'm sure many of you guys already know it. Otherwise, why are you even watching this video? So now you can use world edit for your Minecraft world and build some amazing structures in Minecraft version 1.16. So that's pretty much it. World edit should work like a charm in Minecraft version 1.16.1. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you guys out. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel because I upload Minecraft videos here on a regular basis. Not just tutorial videos like this one, but really, really fun PvP bait wall stuff as well that you guys might find interesting. And if you have any questions, you know, any issues, be sure to drop a comment down in the comment section down below and I'll respond to your comment as soon as I can. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.